Hey, this is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, we will check how to add icons to your command line messages. In the last video, you noticed that we printed colorful text on the command line. And in this video, we want to even go a step further and add icons to the individual messages. So let's switch over to Visual Studio Code and start from a new command where we add icons to messages. So let me quickly prepare the new icons command. All right, so from here, we need to start console logging something on the command line. We want to go for a template literal because we will reference the ace context in this specific file. And we will add this dot um, icon. Let me add a success icon to this message. And we will, did you know that ace supports icons? Well, let's change it to an info and this to a success. And let's go for, Jesus, man. All right, so the other options are warning messages. And you can also add an icon for errors. All right, and actually that's it. With this dot icon, you can reference specific icons and print them out on the command line. So let's head over to the CLI, register our icons command, icons, and yeah, let's go and start the icons command. Let's check if it's added. All right, there you go. Icons. And there you can see it. The info icon is a little blue eye and the green check mark is for success. The warning sign is for warnings and the red cross is for errors. And this is really nice. And well, you can also combine that with the colorful log messages that I showed you in the last video. So let's print an empty line over here to separate that. And this dot success should have a success icon. Chocolate. All right. And then we want to print a warning message with an error icon. So it went smooth, but has some errors that you need to check on. All right, let's switch back to item and print that again. And there you go. You can see that the little icon is a very nice detail that users immediately check and they see the check mark. All right, green text, everything went smooth. But if there's a red cross or an arrow icon and a warning message in yellow or red, you will immediately spot that you need to find the issue when executing some operations. All right. That's it for this video. Use these little details in your app and make users aware of specific context. And I hope to see you in the next video.